called me from Mom Generation, so I'm in Boston right now, Faneuil Hall Square. Land's End is here with the getaway tour bus. I'm with Gabby, Land's End fit expert, and she's going to bring me through the process of exactly how one gets like fit for a swimsuit. This is uh, something that a lot of women get fearful of. So what, what, is, what is the process? Well, first of all, you want to make sure that you're really going to focus on the positives. Right. You really want to kind of, if you have a problem area, perhaps you have had children and you want to kind of come against the middle section. That's my problem. <laughs> Okay, amazing life. So you really want to kind of focus on the positives and then camouflage the things that you're not so confident about. Right. So come in with a really good attitude, you are beautiful, and there is a suit that is going to work for you no matter what. So the other thing that you want to do is of course get the right fit. Right. So we're gonna kind of show you how to get the right fit and then there's also kind of tricks on you know, certain suits are going to accentuate or have a flash other parts of your body. Okay. So we'll also show you how to find the perfect style suit for your body. Perfect. Once we know the fit, perfect style suit. And Lantan has a ton of suits to choose from as well. So there's something for everybody. Yeah, there is something for every body. Love it. Every body type. I love it. So exactly. You want to bring me through a fitting? We are going to go through a fitting. In order to find a perfect that exercise, there's going to be four measurements. Three of them we're really familiar with the bust, the waist, and the hip, okay. and then there's going to be a torso measurement, which many women are not familiar with. Oh, I had no idea you could measure your torso. Okay, so torso is going to be the circumference of your torso, but first I'm going to start with doing your bust. So to do your bust, you want to go over the fullest part of your bust, so your apex, and you want to wear um, your best fitting bra, something that's not padded, because that will obviously skew your size. So we're going to go around your bust. Yeah, and I'm upside down, but I can read it. And you want to make sure that you're level. You don't want to have it too high or too low. So we have about a 35 and a half. Wonderful. Okay, so you're going to have to remember these measures. 35 and a half. So for your waist, it's the narrowest part of your torso. It's going to vary on each woman, but you want to stand straight and bend over where you fit. That's going to be your narrowest part. That's where your waist is. Perfect. Okay. So there we are. This is so great, I had no idea that we would do all four different measurements. Yeah. So the, the torso measurement is really a key measurement in swimwear, especially if you're going to be wearing a one-piece. It's going to help to determine oh, yeah. if you have a, a short torso, a long torso, or a regular torso. And then also for tankinis, we do a lot of long sizes. Okay. So if you have, if you measure and your torso will read into the long, you're going to go for a long tankini. And it really helps. Okay. So we have your waist. Okay. And then for your hip, it's going to be the widest point of your hip going across your bottom. And again, this will vary on each woman. Um, it might be about 8 inches below your waist. So you're trying to go with your down from your waist, 8 inches. And then this is where we'll do our hip measurement. And again, you want to make sure that you're keeping it level around your bottom. So you don't want to slip it or go higher or lower. So we have about yeah. Okay. So the torso. We're gonna start at the highest point of your shoulder, about two inches away from your neck. Okay, so this so now I look at the regular size chart and I start like computing. Yeah. So for your uh, torso length, I would say you're somewhere between a 60 and a 61 since you have the jeans on. So okay. you're uh, about a 628 in your okay. torso. Uh, your bust we had at 35 and a half. 35 and a half. So you're. Since you're wearing a bra, I'd still say about a six. Okay. And then your waist was twenty-seven you're more and a half, right? A four. Okay. And then your hips, we were thirty-six, okay, thirty-six, thirty-seven. 36, 37. So you definitely separates are going to be great for you because oh, perfect. because your measurements for your top to your hip, you obviously have a smaller hip. So on a bottom, you'd probably want to try a two or a four. Okay. And then for your top, I still would say a four or six since you were wearing a bra mm -hmm. and you know the padding might be skewing the size a little bit. So what's wonderful is that you can pretty much pick your different sizes from your top to your bottom, unless you're a fan of a one piece, and right. then we can get you into a one piece and um, see if a one piece would be the best choice for you. Perfect. Thank you so much, Gabby.